we're going to look at tips and tricks for auto fitting rows and columns. Let's start with column A. If I place my mouse pointer up in the letter headings up here, you'll see that when I point my mouse pointer at the line between A and B, I get a mouse pointing with two black arrows pointing left and right. If I double click there, it auto fits column A and it's based it on the longest text string in that column. Now that's okay, but say I wanted to base my column width, not on this heading, but on the longest text string within this data. Your trick here is to select all the values in that column. And then instead of double clicking up here, on the home tab of your ribbon, go to format, auto fit column width. And that'll base your auto fit on the cells that you've selected. I'll show you a shortcut key for that. So once the column is selected, the shortcut key is Alt H O I. That auto fits your selection. You can apply auto fit to multiple columns at once. If you wanted to do it for your whole sheet, you can click up here in the top left hand corner and then double click on one of the lines between your column letters and that auto fits every column in your worksheet. If I undo that, that will also work if you want to base your column widths on a particular area of your spreadsheet. If I select that data, go up to format, auto fit columns, and it's based it on the selection. Auto fitting rows is pretty similar. If I want to auto fit a particular row, say row six, all I would do is double click on the little line that separates row six from seven and it auto fits that row. If I want to do it for the whole sheet, I'd click up in the top left hand corner, then double click on any of the lines between the rows and it auto fits all of your rows. If you want a shortcut key for auto fitting rows, make sure your rows are selected and the shortcut key is Alt H O A. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully it's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a like, and I'll see you next video.